City 1025, the alternative station. Joe Jewett in the morning show. It's 8.53 now and time for your weekly gaming report. That's brought to you by Comic Town, your source for comic books and more. And right in our auto group, we want you to ride in our cars. Chuck from Gaming Nexus in. How you doing, Chuck? You bad yourself, Joe. Uh, good, man. Let's jump in. NBA 2K13. Yep. Do you like basketball games? Sort of. Well, if you do, and I know you're not a fan, but uh, it's, if, I've got good news and bad news for basketball fans. Okay. The bad news is that there's only one NBA game this year because Electronic Arts canceled their version. Yeah. Because um, it sucked. Uh, and this year, uh, the good news, is, though, is that the NBA K, NBA 2K series yeah. uh, has been coming out. We're actually going to this year. is actually pretty good. Okay. Uh, so this year, again, we talk about the, the, the yearly sports games. We always talk about, you know, is it innovation or is it ma- a massive overhaul? Right. And this year, they're, they're, we're kind of taking the, the little improvement kind of route. There's a little bit of innovations here and there. So the big feature this year is that with the Olympics coming up, you know, we had, we had a very successful dream team. Mm-hmm. You know, Kobe, LeBron, all that. So uh, everybody compared them back to the original dream team from 1992. So this, this year, the game actually includes the full 1992 dream team. So if you want to go out and play the two and kind of play back and forth and see who wins, you can do that at you want, you know, as many times as you would like. The game also allows you to answer the question of who's a better basketball player, Michael Jordan or Pauly D from Jersey Shore? Wow, that is a question for the ages. Or Justin Bieber. That is a question for the ages. Exactly. I have to be honest, I would buy this game if it had a mode where I could play Charles Barkley just post up Justin Bieber. Okay. Over and over again. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't, though. Um, the early reviews have come up have been mostly positive, uh, but there have been some reports of some online issues. So if you're going to look at buying this game, I might hold off till either late this week or early next to buy it. get it fixed? Exactly. Oh. I like when they put things out that are broke. Yeah. It's, you know, a first plan is never survive first contact, right? So. Uh, NBA 2K13 for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PC, Wii, and yes. Yep. Uh, Resident Evil 6. I've so, never seen any of these films, so I'm on the edge of my seat waiting for this. Exactly. Game. So these games actually came back, they started coming out in 1996, and while they didn't pioneer the concept of survival horror, which is kind of a slow-moving action game that kind of scares you, yeah. uh, they certainly improved it and made it popular. Uh, we've gotten 20 games and six movies, uh, and basically these are the things that are keeping Mila Jovovich's career alive. Yeah. So I think that's an achievement in and of itself. Look, I'll go see any movie. I haven't seen any of the Resident Evil. I don't really think you're missing that much. They've yeah. got kind of a... Anyway, yeah. Uh, so this week we got Resident Evil 6, uh, which takes us out of Raccoon City. Uh, and now instead of fi- fighting the T-Virus, we are fighting the C-Virus. Okay. So they moved up in the alphabet. Um, really the only difference is apparently the zombies, can, the zombies in the game can now wield guns. Uh, so the game has gone from being kind of a action, horror, slow-paced game yeah. to being to a an, shooter. Exactly. All right. So the, game, cool. yeah, the game's got three separate campaigns uh, that you can play either by yourself or with a friend. And they've got an online all-time um, online multiplayer mode. Um, the early reviews have been all over the place. Um, we've yeah. got a lot of reviewers, like our own in-house reviewer, who love the game. They've got a lot of people who hate it. Uh, my recommendation would be to play the demo, which has samples of all three campaigns. Okay. That's out on Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network. Before you buy it, to see if you're going to like it or not. Um, I know some people will enjoy, enjoy the, the switch and pace. Sure. Some people might not. But, okay. uh, so. uh, that's Resident Evil 6 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Uh, just uh, less than a minute left for War of the Roses. Yep. So this is basically an, a, a, a medieval combat game. And the best way to think about it, think of Call of Duty, but with swords and crossbows. It's kind of old school. Um, basically, it supports up to 32-player multiplayer, so basically you're going to run in, hack a bunch of people up, get hacked up, die, respawn. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. And it's certainly a unique concept that we haven't seen before. Uh, and this is being, done by a sweet, being published by a Swedish company called Paradox who's kind of branding, branching out and doing all these really cool, interesting niche titles. So it's only 30 bucks. You can buy it on Steam. Might be worth checking out. Um, as it, I look, watched some preview footage of it last night, and it looks kind of cool. It got a lot of uh, positive buzz coming out of the Game Developer Conference last year. So it might be worth checking out if you're looking for something completely different. Okay. Uh, that's War of the Roses on PC. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. All right. CD 1025.